The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Hi folks, Carlton Chapman on this Tuesday, September the 21st, and it is Tuesday. For some reason I kept thinking it was a different day. It's Tuesday today, and we're looking at the, the market uh, having a very strong rebound from about 3 o'clock yesterday. Let me just show you something very interesting here. Let me just get to this. So here's the half hour chart. It makes a low, this is the E-mini, yeah, this is the December contract, made a low at 42.93.75 yesterday at 15.30, so that's about 2.30 in the afternoon. And then it started to rebound, and rebound very nicely. Now, I love to do this. You can go to naked charts. If you, if, if you, have, a, if you have a template of, say, Chapman Wave methodology, look. From that low, it went to a peak. A. What do you expect? At least you're alphabetized you, you sequentially each higher peak. At peak D, you expect something other than uh, rallying could occur. That's where other things can happen. But if it does, you just continue wave count and you have to monitor it. And then you can use just real simple techniques. So, so the half hour chart goes peak A, pulls back for about one, two, three, four, five, for about five, five half hour bars, two and a half hours. And then it goes to peak B and pulls back. Uh, let me get rid of this here. I need to add that later. Uh, and then it pulls back and it goes to a leg C and a peak C. Just a frame. You could miss this if you aren't really uh, adept at looking at Chapman Wave methodology and you haven't got an automatic uh, notation because that looked like it was a parallel high, but it wasn't. It went to 4368.25, the very next bar at a high. Yep, had a high of 4368.00. So that makes a peak, peak C. Then it goes to peak D and pulls back again, uh, 25 cents. Goes to peak E at that particular point with two doji candles and right there. Two doji candles and, and a bigger candle that almost has a, a doji look. So okay, be real careful. But wait a minute. This is still inner strength. And it lands up going to what? A peak F. And that is the sixth highest peak at 4395.75 at 5 o'clock this morning. And then it starts to pull back. And that pullback uh, sees a big candle. You know what I normally do with a big candle like that, especially a doji-type candle, is I outline the perimeters outside the, the, the wick high and the wick low. And we'll see, does it break the top? Does it break the bottom? Well, it's breaking the bottom as we speak. One of the and so this is it. So what I did as I was notating it, of course I wasn't I wasn't up before, but just very soon afterwards, I drew this in. I said, oh, fantastic! This is the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. This is a technique that I developed years ago when I used to when I started hand charting. It seemed to me that very often the price goes right to a particular point, and if it's a rising trend, you can draw a trend a, a trend line. And then a channel line, if it's parallel. Pa remember, a channel line has two parallel lines. Otherwise, you've got trend lines. In this case, this is an inside track repellent zone, and it gets there and it breaks down. And what happens? It reverses sharply. So the E-mini has made, I believe, this is a very, a, quite a serious near-term top at the 43.95.75 high. And now we're going to be watching this very closely. And that, as I say, is a naked chart, but you could do it any, anyway. Let me just, I, I'll grab gold. Look, gold, you've got from the low that was made at 22, that's 8 o'clock in the evening on the 19th. It goes peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D, peak E, peak F, and peak G. G, there's never an HG, the seventh highest peak. Is an, uh, you have to use an alternate count at that particular point. And then it stalls, and it has a little mini, peak A, peak B, peak C, and a peak D. D is where other things can happen. Boom, pulls back. Now it's gone peak A, peak B. It's in leg C. This is a 30-minute chart. There should be a peak D, and then we'll see what happens. Let's uh, choose anything you want. Uh, did that, did that, did that. Let's go to the VIX index. I haven't looked at that, but let's just do it. The VIX index goes from the trough that was made at about 2 o'clock 
On the 16th, it goes peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D. And then it recycles in a Chapman wave instant restart with peak A, B, C, D, and an E. And it pulls back sharply. It goes all the way to the 28s, plummets down. This morning it goes under 22. Now it's at 24, 28. Selling has come back in. So I like to do it. This is just the notation of uh, the price based on the Chapman wave methodology. But wait a minute. Remember, we were using the uh, Chapman Wave Inside Track Repellent Zone. Well, look at this. Tell me this isn't a repellent zone. So I'll make this green because you go above that. That's very positive. You go under it, and that says, be real careful. You've hit that resistance level uh, one, two, three, four, five, six times, and now you're breaking down. And there it is. Plop. And uh, look at that sharp move down from the 28s to the 21s. All right. So I just wanted to go through a couple of things. People keep asking me, can you show the Chapman Wave live just as you're doing it on whatever it is so that we can, we've begun to use it, but we don't always get it right. Uh, one question is, uh, where are we in the Dow based on your Chapman Wave methodology? So let me just do this. We had a peak E-top at 35,631 August 16th. It pulls back sharply to 34,690 within four sessions. Then it rallies sharply to the 35,510 area. That's where we weren't sure we were long on the, on the rally here. We were long before. Um, we are core long, way from uh, 23rd of March of last year. But this is a short term, uh, near what I call a, a counter trend position. And we are short, we're short all the way from that. Uh, what was on the 26th, I believe? Yep, the 20, mm -mm. let me just check that out, 26th of August. So that's right here, 26th of August, right there. So it went short, uh, and, and, and what did it do? It ran all the way down to 33,613. Uh, we short very long position, uh, the one-to-one -one long, DOG. And we're still short, and I didn't want to do anything. I thought, you know, this is going to fail. There could be an H pattern. But we, we've got a trend change, a tidal change, I call it, on the shorter term, not the, not the intermediate term yet, although there's really every single bit of evidence that my weekly chart has made a peak G. I'm going to put a down arrow by Friday. Well, we'll let, that, let that go because it's only Tuesday. And we've got all the way to Friday to go. Uh, <clears throat> look, you went pink in the 9 period moving average under the 14. Let's go to the S&P, SPX, so X, there we go. S&P cross negative, it's in a sell mode. It's given back a huge chunk of the gain. Uh, it went from 45, 45s in the 2nd of September. Remember, I always say that tops are made, uh, tops are made in a rotational fashion, but bottoms are made sequentially. So, Tops are made sequentially, bottoms are made in unison. Within a couple of days, almost all the indices make a bottom. So I'm not sure it says a sound. I'm not sure about the sound, whether it's working or not. I'm hearing the sound in uh, YouTube. I'll be back in a moment, folks. I uh, will continue doing this. I see no rush because I think that we're in a digestive phase. And uh, going on alongside, you have to be very specific. I'll be back in a moment, Basil Chapman. Take a delicious hour, that's a fun vibe, it's, it's a balloon. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Well, we're back. I got a bunch of questions coming in, so let me just do this one at a time. It does up 129, S&P is up 9. So the QQQ is up uh, 70 cents here. Uh, most importantly, I think that when you're looking at your Amazons, look at this, Amazon, it just cannot hold again. It's down 10. If you're looking at Apple, uh, Apple uh, up 58 cents after attempting a bounce, after really getting smacked with a huge gap down, 157 all the way down to the 141-ish uh, area. Uh, I, I just think that these things need a rest. So you're looking at this rotation. This rotation says... There's no hurry to get back into stocks if you've taken profits and if you're out or if you are holding cash and you say, oh, man, I've got to get in. Just to have patience. You're going to get some of your all the some of the stocks that you missed that were absolutely fantastic. So have a look at DocuSign. Yeah, look at this DocuSign from uh, the 312-ish area down to the 262, trading at 270. You'll have time. You'll have just you'll have time. Put them on your list and look to see what you want and make two prices. One is a price that's realistic and one is a price that's just so totally off the wall that you say there's no way because you never know. The no way sometimes win when the market starts to become vulnerable. That's all I'm saying. And if you're afraid of missing out, then tiptoe in now. I mean, that's all the, that, that's the best thing to do. You tiptoe in saying this isn't the best time, but it is a time. It is part of my plan. And I might be early, but I know I'm early. I'm expecting that there'll be a pullback. But just in case it starts to take off from here, I want to at least have my foot in the door, and then I can reassess. That's just another way to do it. Some of these things are pulled. You know that there have been corrections in this market of 15, even 20%, even more in some of the fantastic stocks. So... Uh, this is a digestive phase, a very important one. Uh, so let me just quickly finish this off. IWM, the Russell 2000, mm -mm. I think it's headed towards the lower part. It's down, it's, it's un, uh, now it's unchanged. Oh, now it's up four cents, 217.31. I think it's going towards the 214, 210 area. It's a really important to see how does it, how is it able to sustain this rally that never went to the back to the top in the two. 33, 35 area. It did stop at 230. Now it's coming down. That says another arch formation that just keeps testing the lower rungs of the of the rectangle, and then it goes up towards the higher part. 
So it's digesting gains. The monthly chart says it should make a leg D at some point in 2021, and it could be quite strong. Just need patience. All right, let's get back to, uh, I was looking at gold. Gold has a nice move here, up 11 at 1774. Still stuck within a range, but it's trying to hammer out, I think I love that term, hammer out some kind of a base. And as I say, it's in play, but more kind of a near term, in and out, in and out. I just don't see the big move yet. I could be wrong because that falling X in the month, in the weekly chart, suggests that at any point if it starts to trade in the 1810 area, that's 30 points from here, 35, that would be really positive. But it hasn't yet, so we'll see what happens. Looking at silver, so gold is up at 1775. Silver's up 22 cents at 22.42. Way weaker. It went to a lower low, trough E slash uh, B, and that's in the daily. And in the week, in the weekly, it's A B C. This is leg D to the downside. It's just acting very poorly at this particular time. Let's look at the at uh, high grade copper. High grade copper is oh ho. Oh, oh, that is really painful. Uh, at 4.02, down 0.09, the four red candles when it was holding so well just the other day at the 440 level, and now it's down at 4.02. Whew, this is the dreaded H pattern. Oh, man. And that's not a good sign because if you look at wood, which is the iShares Global and Timber Forestry ETF international, this is global, uh, like copper, global. Um, it's had a huge plunge from the 92 area to the 83s, and now it's trading at 84.91. It's really struggling. So it just says, I, you know, I, I, nothing's changed. We are short the Dow, we're short the Qs. Uh, we're trying to get short one of the indices. Just, just missing it all the time. It's a pity. We'll get there. <laughs> in the meantime, back in the ranch, let me go to this, uh, the dollar, DXY. Uh, that is... Pulling back a little bit down, eight, eight cents, uh, eight ticks at 93.16. At a peak C, a gray peak C. No, no, the 84% in the stochastic. This is blue. This is in a buy mode. We should attempt to get to the 93.50s uh, uh, very quickly. We'll see what happens then. Uh, platinum, sure. Question about the platinum. Uh, my platinum, this is a really good candle. Like, that's the reason why I'm, I'm sure you're looking at it. Um, Oh, wow. I would like to think that Platinum Continuous Contract up 37 at 936.80 after that huge red bar yesterday plummeting to a lower low uh, after that peak G slash C, top peak G top back in, I think it was uh, March or April in the 1350 area. And then giving a more than a one to one to the downside. This is the second iteration. So this is almost a another extension i would like to think that this is from the technicals the magd is improving just a little bit it's still weak stochastic's terrible at 7 12 percent but it has crossed positive the, the on balance volume is making a positive w formation i mike i don't know if you're interested in buying platinum if you just want a general outlook but i would look at platinum it's in the whole area of of commodities which have really been under pressure even the commodities in the dba the grains uh all every everything's been under pressure I, and even crude oil so i looking at this as a buy this is a this is just a nibble at 9939 right now i would have to give it a 918 to 20 points oh that's just way too much for me the 20 point i don't know how much that translates in the futures but a 20 point risk I don't like that. But what I will say is this, that based on the 120-minute chart in leg B and the technicals improving 83% and the MACD is good, um, a nibble right here at 90, 938.60, um, I don't know what kind of stop you would, you would put in, but you have to figure out the stop. All I'm saying is that this is the potential for a bounce. I can't say that it's a potential for a move up that goes to a new recovery high above the uh, 1025 whole resistance area in the 1020s and it breaks it. No, just a starter position. I don't think it's, I think it's early, but yes, for a bounce and a trade, a quick trade, yes, 938.20. If you want to get in, I personally would wait. I'd actually wait for the weekly to confirm that it's making at least a gray leg A 
And of course, it hasn't done that. You have to wait a whole week before it can do that. So I, it's a starter of a bounce. It's had too many of these. But this one with the one to one to the downside suggests that the selling is a little bit, a little bit overdone. It's a little oversold and it can bounce. I'm not sure that it would have to close above 952.50. 951.85 is the 14 period moving at. It would have to close nicely above that, probably even more, 9, 9.53, for me to say, hey, now I think you've got at least a counter trend rally, a three to five session uh, bounce. All right, I'll be back. I want to look at JD, which is JD.com, uh, Chinese retailer. I had a couple of good questions about that. Alora, I want to go to LAUR as well, follow up from yesterday. Um, I'll be back in a moment. Cows up just a hundred. Yes, it's only up six. Cows up to have Back in three questions, I'll be right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Chart. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. Just as, just as we're going to that, let me just do this because I, I, I promised a couple of people, quite a few people actually, that I would do things each day uh, during my show to show the chat. Wait, look, this is the NQZ, and it went to a peak E in the 30 minute chart um and look at this if you put in the technique that i was just discussing earlier on here's the chapman wave inside track repellent zone and it hit it and then it tumbled uh so yeah, these are techniques you know you can learn very easy techniques how much do you have to know in the chapman wave methodology well uh, in the beginning, you're going to make it as simple as possible, just counting the notation. And D is where 
your your objective is to get to D, and then other things can happen. Uh, so there's your D. Other things can happen. It rallies again in almost like a right arm extension to the upside, and then it fails and it comes back down. So uh, this is these are techniques that you can keep in mind. I'm just going to do this with platinum right now. PL uh, platinum is gone. Peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D, peak E pulls back, and then it goes A, B. Now this is a very interesting. You see this bar, the low is also the high for for a notation. Normally, I'd have to wait for a higher low bar to be able to start a new wave count. In this particular instance, I'm always very conservative in the futures. I tend sometimes to take the low bar, not always, but when it's in an up move like this, and say, well, to be safe, this is going to give me A, B, C, and this is a D right here. And that's the reason why I'm saying Monitor it closely, 93.40, uh, 938.40, um, it's in this bar that the most important things can happen. And normally what I would do is grab the outer, outer bars there. So, okay, now let's go to our question was, <clears throat> I, I do want to go to LAUR first. LAUR, this is from uh, Laura, I think it was yesterday. And we were looking at LAUR, which is, Laureate Education Inc. Now, in the field of education, at this particular point, I think this is very important. As a theme, I like it. As a chart pattern, it made a peak in, it's pulled back in the, in the daily chart, holding very nicely. And what she had said was that it had this fantastic dividend. Oh, am I going to find that? I'll just put this in. Let's see if I can get it. L-A-U-R. Now I'm going to put find to see if it finds it. <clears throat> it had a 7% dividend. I just didn't have a chance to follow. I did follow through on the chart formation, but I didn't manage to follow through on the dividend. So, um, Lor uh, Laurie, sorry, Laurie. Uh, hi, Basil. Can you please take a look at LAUR if you have a chance? I'm in at 17.80, and I see it's pulling back a little bit. I'd maybe take just a tad off for, for, to be cautious, but... Once it has a special dividend of seven dollars and a penny, a share planned, this seems to be good, too good to be true. Can you clarify the downside risk to this? Thank you, Laurie. Well, I don't know when you have to hold it, Laurie. If you could just give me a note to say how long you have to hold it for before that extra dividend is payable, because seven percent in a stock that's in the educational field, I like this. It's kind of under the radar. A lot of people are going to do extra work, a lot of education in this particular time. I like it, and I think that as a result, <clears throat> I'd like to hold on to it, not me, but you. I'd like you to hold on to it, but I'd also <clears throat> just, now, it's crazy to say take a little bit off if you're holding it as a dividend stock. Because if as, as a dividend stock, you want to apply X amount of money to it because you want to get that dividend. And here I am making it saying, make it smaller. Well, smaller means smaller dividend amount. This is really tough. All I'm going to say is I love the action so far. I actually love the fact that today it's down two cents when the general market's been so much higher, but it's holding way above yesterday's low. I'm just going to say I don't know how you can play this to be safe and aggressive at the same time. You're being aggressive by wanting the 7% dividend. And going into a stock on the long side in this particular market uh, environment. But at the same time, um, there's a safety factor that says it's held very nicely. It's only in leg C in the weekly chart. Could make a peak C this month. And we don't know where a peak C can pull back to and before it makes a D. So it could give you a 10% loss before it gives you that 7% gain. So this is really tough for me because you're talking a mix of fundamentals a mix of technicals. I'm going to go with the technicals and say, to this moment, I still like it. I, I I don't feel embarrassed about saying take a tad off because that's kind of mitigating some of the risk factor. If in the end you don't get full 7% because you're out the stock and you only in the end make 3% or even 2% in a market like this, 2% is great. That isn't your purpose, I know. So, Laurie, I'm just saying to say here, Good eye, you've done the job so far. You've got, I don't know what your parameters are for 
the risk because going from 1780 down to 1708 this morning, I, we're looking at seven. There's your there's your 10 percent that I was talking about. Uh, 17. No, what am I talking about? Seven cents from 70. No, five percent. So you're you're giving up some of the gain already. That makes it really tough. But as a chart, if you just said to me, I like the chart, I'd say, you know what? I'd like to stay in as long as possible. But if it starts to close at 16.80, 16.70, I just don't think it's worth the risk. I'd rather wait and come back for that leg D, anticipated leg D. All right. Hope that helps you. It took a little bit of time. So let's go back to G G Day. G Day. JD. JD.com, uh, Chinese retail. I believe it's one of the biggest retailers in China. Now, this is going to be very interesting because if you look at JD.com, 74.38, up 25 cents right now, did make a peak F in the Chapman Wave methodology at the 8408 level on the 7th of July. It's pulled back, uh, not bad, it's pulled back to the 73.02 level yesterday. Now it's rallying a little bit. I suspect that this is so. Uh, um, the question came in. Uh, about, oh, I have to try to find it. So Jason wanted to know, is this something that I'd be looking at? It's held well, and he thinks that as soon as China comes, as soon as shows any sign of strength, this should be one of the big gainers. I don't disagree. Now, I'm going to do this in a broad sense. Look at Baidu. I always get, it has the same -ish pattern, sort of the same pattern, but it's been in a much longer consolidation in the 350 area. It got, it got <clears throat> almost cut in half down to the 135s. So, and it ran up to a peak D, and now it's consolidating. But if I put it together with the FXI, which I you remember, I drew the pattern. I said lowercase H can go to a lowercase M. Watch out if it takes out the left side low. It did that yesterday. That left side low of the 27th of July, at 38.24, was taken out yesterday with 37.60, so 86 as a low yesterday. So that's saying China isn't ready yet. The FXI, this is the big cap, the large cap, China fund iShares. And that just makes me a little bit cautious. I don't think I'd be jumping in just yet on a China stock. I like the action in JD so far. It's way above the low of about 60, 61. <clears throat> it went to the 84 area. Now it's trading at 74. All I can say is, yes, I agree. But wow, my, I don't think you need, you've got so many American stocks that have risk and reward. I don't know why you'd want to take a chance on China because it'll be overnight and there's nothing you can do. Hold off for now. Let's wait for a much better entry. Uh, Dow's only up 62. s and is up dollar 77. So I didn't have to take any of our positions. We've raised again. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. I, I was asked about this. It's really not... Uh... It's kind of it's kind of for this hour. It's perfect for this hour because this is Tiger Technicians Hour, and I like to do analysis to say what can you do right now? Where are you? What are you looking at? So the question was: so Dave White had a fantastic for his subscribers. I, I, I'm just reading what was in the written in the den. Um, someone said ARQQ. Wow! And then I looked at the stock. I looked at it yesterday, actually. <clears throat> it was almost going to be on my list for today. And I thought, gee, I don't know if I want any new any new positions today. And um, so, what I was looking at was within the context of ARQQ, which is Arcit Quantum Inc. Quantum Inc. Encryption Technology Platform as a Service, making communications links secure against attacks. And to me, anything to do with the uh, cyber security. And this, I, th I think this is what it's all about, is really important. So a question came in from someone that, well, a statement came in. Uh, congratulations to Dave. Someone had got in at 15 and got out at about 30. Fantastic. Again, that was, I, I believe it was Dave White's recommendation. Um, and I'm looking at this and I'm saying, it's at 2691. What would you do right now? Well, I've done some kind of shorter term analysis on it. Because I too was looking at it, um, I, I gave up the chance, and it went to a peak A, B, C, D, in the 120-minute um, chart. It actually was even an E, but that could be an E slash C in in the uh, alternate count in the chamber because the stochastic is only at 74%. It should go back to 80% or higher, and the MACD is good. So the question was, someone said, where would you get in for the daily? It's in leg C. Where would you get in for leg D? Well, first of all, this is still C. If it makes a new recovery high above 30.99, well, that's the high today. But if that's the high all the way through the close, then tomorrow, if it goes to 30.31 uh, by one penny, it extends this leg C. You still haven't got to a peak C. But if there's no new high, that makes a peak C. So I love the technicals. I love the story. I love the fact that it's in this particular market right now. It's it's in a sector that's completely independent of the market. And it's in its own orbit. I love that because it's saying, uh, yeah, I could do anything. Uh, do the analysis and uh, not in, in a fundamental way right now, but in a technical way. And technically at 26.87, I, all I can say is, why don't you? You can't get a full uh, a full position. And what I'd mentioned is, why don't you have a little nibble right here? Yeah, I would personally have a stop of a dollar thirty. That's what you know. That's a little bit bigger than I would like in terms of uh, um, the position. But it's a very slow, a very small percentage. It's a risk high risk stock because it's so volatile. It was down in the. 14, 13, 11 area just a week ago. So this is now it's hit 30.99. So, but nibble right here, 20, 26, 76, and you can see it rise. And if it actually starts to rise, you can increase as it moves up every 30 cents. You could increase your put your stop in where you're comfortable on the original position, and then just each one has its own separate stop. And that just make it simple because it moves so quickly. Dollar fifty down, it could be in a split second. A dollar fifty up, it could be a split second as well, and that's if that's what you trade. Oh, right, let's go to Mike in Ormond Beach. Mike, how are you? 
Uh, good morning, Basil. I'm looking at Zoom. Do you think we're close to a, a decent bottom? So this is very interesting. Zoom, uh, folks, this is, of course, Zoom. This is <laughs> for anyone who had anything to do with uh, meetings or just getting together. Zoom video communications, video conferencing had a spectacular 2020, 2020 to 2021. It made its all-time high at 594 or something. What was that? 588.84 back in October. And then it had a little bit of a dip. And the dip was down to the 275 area. Um, and then it ran up to, to 400, just over 400, and it came back down, and that's made the dreaded H pattern at 276. So now this is the thing. I believe that Zoom is now part of, um, part of our vernacular, just like DocuSign is. A set, just, it, it, there is, it's really important that it has made the kind of inroads that it had, it's, very, it's actually speeded up by at least five years, a technology that would have taken that long. But this way you had not just our country, but around the world you had people doing this, this kind of technology. There's now a lot of competition. So I don't see it going back to the new all-time high at this particular point until it gets something that is so specific to Zoom that... It is almost proprietary, and at this point, I don't know if they have that technology. They had something like it, but I think you know Microsoft. There are a whole bunch of people that have worked at this and worked at it, and they refined it. So it says to me, as a trade, I'd be looking at it, but I don't think it's right now. It's at two seventy six. It's down four today. It's in the process of trying to make some kind of a base. What right. I would like to say is. If you're looking at this as a three to an eight week play, it's got so much to do on the upside besides the gap that it almost, it's just a spectacular gap. Folks, one day's trading, this is the one day was on the 30th of August, is trading between 348 and 339. It closes at 347. And the very next day, it is at 280, 295 to 288. And it, it filled in just a tiny bit of that into the 302, 303 area, and then it came down. So this is just saying to me that they don't have the priority that they had earlier on um, of, of being a leader in the field, very little right. competition. So I would have to treat it only as a speculative bounce play, and I don't see that right now. So to make it real simple... I don't see anything. The technicals start to improve and the price couldn't hold it on the daily. The technicals on the weekly are really bad. And the technicals on the weekly say that if it takes on a monthly basis, if it closes below 270, 273.20, the low of the week of the 14th of May, actually even on a weekly basis, if it closes below that, it just makes the upside, it, it lowers the cap on the upside so that 300 to 305 is tough. Well, 10% gain is a 10% gain. I just don't, I think it's more the 3 to a 5% risk than a 10% gain I'm seeing right now. So I, I, right, well, I don't see anything just yet. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep an eye on it, and I'll see what it does if it gets down to 273 and see if that holds the support. And yes. I'm very flexible, Basil. I don't commit to a long-term trade or anything. You know, I'm... I, uh, I get in, and I, I, a lot of times I watch it on a 10 or 15-minute chart, and then I use very tight stops. So, I mean, sometimes I might get into a position two or three times in a day and, you know, make these little chunks of change that add up at the so, end of the day. So. so if that's your modus operandi, I'm going to say this is a perfect environment for, the, for that right now. So. Right. Keep in mind that it really has to test and has to test successfully. I'd give it a few days even to test, but if it does bounce, it could be a pretty quick uh, 15 point to 22 point bounce, but have a little patience. Thanks for calling, Mike. Right. Always appreciate it. Good luck. Thanks. So, folks, when we come back for the next segment, uh, this is a couple of things I want you to do. I want you to explain the Dow is down, down 14 points, SP is down six. This is a bare phase. Remember, I've been talking about that for a while. 
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back, and I want you to show you something here. Look, uh, we've got... There it is. So we've got the gold contract in the 30-minute chart in leg C. I just did this real quickly. People in the den saw me do it live. A, B, C, D with the Chapman Wave instant restart potential, but you continue the letters in a sequential way, E, F, and G. There's never an H. And G turns around and it drops sharply, and then it makes another low, and it starts an, like a rectangle. Um, there it goes. A rectangle, peak A, peak B, peak C, and a peak D. Then it pulls back sharply, and it drops again to the 1750s, and then it starts leg A, PK. Leg B, a lower high bar makes peak B. And now it's in leg C, and it's going right in leg C, going to this resistance line, suggests it's going to take it out, because you still have to go to it, don't have to, but that's the Chapman Wave methodology, says that there's a real good chance. So just uh, I'm gonna, uh, a couple of, quite a number of people have said, hey, we like that very much, something new. I've been doing this here in, the, in this hour, at different times over the years, <laughs> 11 o'clock, then noon, no, 10, when it was 11 o'clock, then noon, and then we went back, to, it went to 10 o'clock. So I've been doing this for nearly, what, 19 years or something here at TFNN. Uh, it's fun to go do something completely different. So this is something that I will add because enough people have asked me, but I just, just live. Look, I have no moving averages, no nothing. And there it is. So um, I like it. <clears throat> All right. Dow's down 21, S&P's down 5. What am I looking at? 
I'm looking at the sell modes in the daily charts. Look at this, the QQQ, one, two, three, yesterday turned down. And I said that the nine has now gone under the 14 period. That confirms the sell mode. And here we are, we're now down 40 cents. So we're short the, the Qs, we're short the Dow. Uh, we missed again, getting short another one that we had got a perfect entry in. Just got stopped out by a fraction by a penny. And uh, so, folks, thank you for being here. I'll be back with Tom a little later on today. We still have our somewhere along positions, which are actually holding up quite well. See you later on. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Check out my opening call.